Хай Мистер Стакфиш, Ват Плэжер Ту Мит Ю Аген, Ват Кан Ай Ду Фор Ю. Hello Mikhail Tal, how nice to see you again too. It came to my attention that you are going to play against the young Bobby Fisher, in the future he will be known as Stock Fisher, which is a huge offense to me, therefore I came to make sure you won't lose this game. You are right Mr. Fish, Bobby Fisher is a 14 years old prodigy, but I do not need her help by any means. But do you mind if I watch your game? Of course not my friend. You are more than welcome to watch the game. What are you planning to play against him? He is becoming well known to be a great A4 player. Since I have the black pieces, I will play the Sicilian. All right, not great, but not bad either, at least you are no coward. Let's wait for the game to start then. Aha. So he is playing the flank variation of the Sicilian, I don't particularly like this move because it weakens the king's side too much, what are your plans against that Mikhail Tal? I'm gonna go with before, if he wants to push pawns, I will push my pawns too, let's see who is faster with the attack. Before was my third best move, it's a little bit premature. But it's getting exciting, bishop to e7, preparing to castle would be better. You shouldn't have taken this pawn, white is much better now. Isn't you who keep saying, always take the free pawn, I'm just following your advice as Mr. Stackfish. Do you see the problem? It is move 10, and beside your knight, all of your pieces are in their starting squares. I think you are going to suffer on this game. If that's the case, I will have to defend like you do Mr. Fish. What a bold move by Desket, he is giving up another pawn. Oh yes, and according to my calculations, GTXF is first, do you agree? Absolutely, e takes f5 was possible, but it is borderline losing, because after bishop to d5, attacking the rook, rook must go to a7, knight takes f5, bishop takes f5, queen to d4 forks both rooks, and only I, the dark fish, can defend this position down an exchange. You made the right decision, however, your king will never be safe anymore, now we will see how, one of the greatest, Humans, attackers of all time, won't be attacking, but defending. If I won't be attacking, I will prove it to you, how good in defending I can also be my friend. Don't worry Tal, there's only one move that keeps white advantage, and there is no way he will find it. Nanny? Oh man, how I hate this Bobby Fisher. How does he keep playing my top moves all the time? This cat is certainly special, I considered this move, but I can't believe he found it. Unbelievable, if he takes d5, queen takes d5 forks the rook and the knight and black is losing, rook to a7 was in fact the best move. You can't let this kid win Mr. Dahl. Finally this kid makes a mistake. And you took advantage of it perfectly Mr. Dahl. Queen to c6 threatens mate and also attacks the knight, the game is now equal. Mr. Stackfish, 
I can hear about to play strong move, he has already wrote and his papers rook from me to Ivan, and I am not sure what I am going to do against that. I won't tell you what is the best move against that, but I know a lot of human psychology, give him a smile and pretend that this is a bad move, he is just 14, I bet he will change his mind. If a smile is the best move, I smile I shall give. And that worked my friend, but, how should I have proceeded in the other case? Do you mean, after rook from a to e1? Really simple, black's king would have to move to d8 because the threat is to take the rook and then take the pawn on f7, so after, rook takes e7, bishop takes e7, queen to d5 check, only move, king to c7, queen to e5 check, rook takes f7 with check, White is down a bishop. So best would be to repeat moves, unless you enjoy getting mated. But now, after queen to c6 check, you are simply up a bishop for a single pawn, white is running out of pieces and threats, I think you may win this game. Rook takes f7, question mark, question mark. White is now, completely lost, although this was my second best move, it doesn't work at all, White had a chance to maybe make a draw with, Queen to f6, Rook to f8, Queen takes pawn, Queen to b7, Queen to h6, Rook to g8, threatening mate, Rook to e2, Queen to b5, Queen takes h7, and after Queen takes Rook, Queen takes pawn check, and Queen take Rook check. White will be up three pawns for a piece, and there would be an end game of queen rook and bishop versus rook and queen, that sometimes is a draw and sometimes is a win, and that would be Bobby Fischer's best chance. Good move Tal, defending this pawn with the rook was crucial to win this game, now, your b-pawn will live no matter what, if bishop to e7, just rook to c7, pinning the bishop, rook to e6, a3, b3, rook to b7, rook to e3, white could push his a-pawn, and eventually, the pawn on b3 would fall, leading to a rook and bishop versus rook end game, that is a draw. I saw all of that Mr. Stockfish, I will win this game, but this Bobby Fisher kid will probably become a legend, I am sure of that. The kid finally resigned. It was nice seeing you again. I hope we can meet in the future another time Mr. Stockfish. Goodbye. Goodbye Mr. Mikhail Tal. We will meet again in the future for sure. If you wonder why Bobby Fisher resigned, it is because the pawn is promoting no matter what.
rook to c1 followed by pawn to b8 equals queen is coming, and if, king to a5, just the simple rook to c1, and white's rook would have to be sacrificed to avoid promotion. If you enjoyed this video, consider checkmating that subscribe and like button, for any video suggestion, just put it in the comments and I will do it. Or not. See you never. Or not.